Welcome to Baxter Bell Yoga. I'm Baxter Bell, and two quick things before we jump into our practice today. First, if you're watching this on YouTube and you find the video valuable, please like it. Secondly, if you want to learn more about my yoga teaching, whether that's yoga classes online or in person, uh, yoga privates or yoga therapy privates, or upcoming workshops and retreats, there's one easy place to find all that information. That's my website, baxterbell.com. So without further ado, let's jump right into our practice. Today I'm really excited to share with you a dynamic version of a balance pose that I've taught you in the past or shared with you in the past uh, called the flamingo. So this is, I call this the prancing flamingo. And we're gonna be moving from foot to foot while we're doing the flamingo pose. So if you've not yet done flamingo, you might look at my previous video that gives you very clear instructions on how to do that successfully. And in fact, it's not a bad idea to get pretty good at that before you try the dynamic version. So just consider that um, if, you're, if you're a little bit newer to the balancing poses. And again, with all balancing poses, if you feel a little bit nervous about balancing, you can stand a little bit closer to a wall so your fingertips can come to the wall behind you. You could have a chair off to one side or a, a countertop that you could bring a hand to if you needed a little extra support. So take whatever you need to feel comfortable when you're working on the balance pose. So a couple things about this uh, unique uh, dynamic version of flamingo is that we're going to be um, coming into the flamingo position. So we're going to come into flamingo and then on my balancing leg before I take my hop to the other leg, I'm going to bend the knee a little bit and then I'm going to use that to spring lightly onto the other foot. And when I spring onto the other foot, the ball of the foot comes down first and then the heel comes down. So it's almost like, you know, we would actually uh, have the foot come down if we were actually jumping, right? If some other sport that we might participate in at times. So let's give this a try. So bring the arms up. We'll go through it kind of slowly the first time and then we'll pick up a little momentum. So we'll shift to the right and come up with the left leg in the air. So this is our starting position. And then as I inhale, I'm gonna bend that right knee and on an exhale, I'm gonna hop onto the left leg and lift my right knee up. As I inhale, I'm gonna bend my left knee and exhale, hop onto my right foot. Now my toe might come down for a moment, that's okay. I can bring it right back up. Inhale, bend the right leg and exhale, hop onto the left. Again, if the toe comes down for a moment, that's fine. Inhale, hopping to the first side. Exhale, hopping to the second side. And then eventually, you'll start to get a little rhythm where it becomes a little bit easier and you'll feel a little more confident, right? So we're getting a little bit of agility, some balance here. And of course, the heart rate and the blood is gonna flow a little quicker as we move like this. And then one more time onto the right foot, one more time onto the left foot, and then bring both feet down and release. Shake it out, shake the legs out, shake the arms out. So when you're doing that, if you find that a foot does come down at first, usually the first couple of times you do the prance to the right and left, that's when you're more likely to have that opposite leg foot want to come down to help with your balance. Your brain and body start to problem solve and you usually get much better at this as things go along, as you, as you practice it more. So let's try that. And again, you don't have to do this a whole bunch of times, but maybe hopping six times side to side is a, maybe a good goal to set for yourself to work towards. And then if you get to six, then you can go on to more if you'd like. So we'll try it one more time. Bring the arms up, shift to the right. And as you lift up your left leg, you can bend your right knee, take a breath in and then begin. Exhaling, hopping, inhale, exhale, hop, inhale, exhale, hop. So there is a little bit of that awareness of the breath. Following your inhale and your exhale to create your prancing flamingo. Oh yeah. <laughs> Good, now last time on the left foot, and then bring both feet down, bring the arms down, give the arms a little shake, give the legs a little shake. So there you have it, the prancing flamingo. Play around with that in your practice this week. I hope you have fun with that one. Again, if you find this valuable, this video, please like it on YouTube, and follow me on Facebook and YouTube at Baxter Bell Yoga. And uh, please sign up for uh, my newsletter on my website, and thanks for joining me today. Namaste.